Seven months ago, I created my first video of the Iron Sword series, which is a video series about those classical code weapons. When I realized it's a long time not to make the code weapon topic videos, the time has passed seven months. So today, I'm going to restart this series. Today's main character is a little bit different because it isn't a sword or bow. But this was a very important part of equipment in the ancient battlefield. This is the armor, and this topic is one of the parts of the armor in Japan, the samurai mask. Honestly, nowadays the samurai mask has almost become a very iconic Japanese element, and it also features that it can be mixed into modern style or even cyberpunk style easily. So we often can see it in many films, video games, TV series, etc. So what kind of story is behind the historical mask? Today, let's find out. The Japanese samurai mask in Japanese language, it is called Menpo or Menbo. According to archaeology, the earliest Japanese samurai mask might be from the Kofun period, from about 300 to 538 AD. But the mask in this ancient period simply was not the mask that we can see today. It was more like a kind of a check guard like armor and the belt of Mempo. Basically, the people always agree that the samurai mask appeared in the Heian period, running from 700. 94 to 1185. In the era, the Wuxi class will be called the Samurai class. It was in that Japanese society. Wuxi was always translated into Samurai in English. But it also have some little difference. In brief, until in the 12th century, Wuxi and Samurai almost became able to express the same meaning. In other words, at the early stage, Samurai and Bushi had some differences, but over time, Samurai and Bushi become one word. Okay, back to the mask story. Because the Samurai class, who made their living from military force, gradually rose to power from the Hengan period to the Kamakura period. The most famous Japanese armor, also known as Oyoroi, finally entered the history stage because of the appearance of Oyoroi. The Japanese armor got some chance, especially the helmet. Before both period, the face guard and the helmet were one part. Over the years, in both period, the face guard and the helmet gradually became two different parts in order to ensure better visibility. This kind of face guard usually have a half hide mask looking, and it was said this kind of mask had been worn by rank and fail soldiers who did not wear helmet. Therefore, until this moment, the oldest face armor, masks, had an initial form. During both the period, the mask was always Hanpuri type, which means the half hide type. It was looked like the mask of Yamato in the famous anime Naruto. With the time going, the Kamakura period arrived at the end, and the years would in the Nanbokujo period. Honestly, this was not a peace era. More and more political fights appeared in Japan. During the early period, there existed two imperial courts. Another imperial court established by Ashikaga Takauji in Kyoto, and the southern imperial court established by Emperor Go Daigo in Yoshino. Ideologically, the two courts fought for 50 years, with the thus giving up to the north in 1392. In such an unpeaceful time, it is possible that since the wars got more and more in the Nanboku Cho period, the fighting style of the wars also started to change to the next level. During the time, one on one mounted archery battles, the Japanese is Kisasen, which is a kind of battles between mounted warriors was changed to infantry battles. The Japanese is Kajida Jisen between large numbers of mobilized infantry in the Nanboku Cho period. Because of the emphasis on mobility during the period, the infantry always wore simple armor on the battlefield. At the same time, Menpo, the armor mask, was changed to the half check mask type. In Japanese, it is called Hanbo, which was a letter form that retained the minimum level of defensive power while eliminating all unnecessary elements. So this kind of new type Menpo in the early stage features that 
it could protect the form both checks to the chin and also the throat as it looks like a smaller than the harpuri type now the time continue going during the murumachi period to the azuchi momoyama period also known as from 1336 to 1603 after the harpuri type appeared basically the memo got a settled looking Based on the Hanbo type, the Manpo was added one more function. This was to intimidate the enemies. The people added the different expressions. Typically, it was angry, the face of Tengu, or other horror expressions, and made the mask look more aggressive. The most iconic angry face style mask also has a name, Reisen Ime. The Manpo in that stage the most obvious feature was that the new mask had the nose, but it said that the nose might affect the warrior's sight. So the smart craftsman given it an improvement. They made a detachable nose on the mask. The soldiers and the samurais wearing the masks with the angry expressions fought briefly and fearlessly, as if possessed by that fierce spirit. Meanwhile, these masks wore a kind of costume for them as well. When the year in the Edo period, Takugawa Ieyasu united Japan and established a new period, the Edo period, the chaos of the Sengoku period finally ended. In this period, peace came up to society, so finally, Japan could have better in economic growth, strict social order, isolationist foreign policies, a stable population, oral peace, and a popular enjoyment of arts and culture. Colloquially referred to as Old Edo, the Great Edo. The wars were obviously far less than before. The weapons and the armors gradually became a symbol of prestige in the Sambre families, from the fighting tools on the battlefield. In other words, this war gear had become a valuable work of art and a family heirloom. Plus, the most advanced techniques of the time were used in the production of armor during the Edo period. Of course, the small corresponding equipment that came with it was no exception. So, armors of the Edo period competed with each other to show up their skills, releasing elaborate works of art into the world. Because there were no wars anymore, protection had not been the first aim for the users and the craftsmen when they decided to build an armor suit. Instead, the armor building masters competed with each other in showing off their techniques by harboring iron and adding variation in wrinkles to create highly decorative full surface pieces. Therefore, nowadays, if we see a Japanese vintage mask and armor, which have a very high art value, and meanwhile, the art elements also makes it into the extremely powerful looking. Probably, it will be the mask and the armor built in the Edo period. Typically, there are four different types of Japanese armor masks. Hatsuburi, or we can call it Hatsuburi, and Hapuri, Hanbo, Menoshitabo, and Sume. Now, let's more carefully talk about them. The first is Hatsuburi, just like what I mentioned in the chapter 1 of this video. This was the oldest version of a Japanese armor mask, and also it was a kind of equipment that was used very widely from the mid Hengan period to the Kamakura period. It was worn by every from high ranking samurai to low ranking soldiers, and was primarily intended to protect the face from enemy arrows. Then, Hanbo, which could protect the area from both checks to the chain. But there was not no section on the mask when the Hanbo was used more and more widely since Nanpokucho period. The Hazapuri gradually left the history stage. Some well-made Hanbo that was used by the high ranking samurai had some very user-friendly design. For example, the holes on the chain were designed in order to make sure the sweat would be able to go out from the mask and ensure the sweat didn't remain in the inside of the mask. Plus, since the Buromachi period, Tare was added to the mask in order to protect the throat and upper chest. Typically, Tare was made from iron or leather. Next, Memo Shitabo is developed from the Hanbo and was made from the Murumachi period. 
to the Edo period. The feature was that the craftsman added the expression nose, the gap of mouth, the wrinkles of face, or even the beard to the mask, and made it get more deterrence power to intimidate the enemies. The last one has a so many. This was a kind of mask that had a full face guard, so on paper, this type of mask should have the best defense, but in fact, because it was the full face mask, the weight was also the heaviest, plus the eye holes and other holes that might hinder combat on the mask probably block the warrior's will and the breeze in fighting. Therefore, typically, the warriors didn't wear it on the real battlefield. However, with the society back to peace in the Edo period, the wars got less and less, and the craftsman techniques got better and better. Decorative armor became popular, and at the same time, interest in full-face armor so many increased. Notice, we are in the modern age. The armor has left the history stage, but the many masterpieces of elaborate design and the technique remain and have been in museums and homes of collectors for many years. So, so men continue to enjoy high popularity. Okay, this is today's video, and thank you for watching. Hope you can like this video. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.